So in case you didn't know, we're running out of fuel here in, in America, energy, in terms of, uh, you know, diesel and just regular gas as well. There's no reason for running out of fuel when we, when we should be energy independent, but it's no secret that we're doing this to ourselves in terms of an agenda, right? And so, wanted to make a video to warn people, to, to, to take, tell people that in 25 days, there's a countdown starting today, that in 25 days, there's not going to be any more tractor trailers coming to restock the shelves with food and everything. It's not just food, it's just everything. And the only thing I can think about is if the toilet paper crisis that was ongoing just a few months back, if that brought about mayhem, imagine food. So the Democrats have this agenda that they want to do a one world everything. So they're in cahoots with this whole uh, movement. Basically, they're destroying so that they could usher in the Antichrist. This is biblical. The Bible talks about when everything's in shambles, there, there, there's got to be somebody that comes in to save the day. And then everybody points in that direction and says, okay, uh, here he is, you know, uh, he's going to help us. He's the Antichrist, he's going to promise peace, he's going to promise, you know, all of these solutions. And people are going to just go to him and flock to him. And, and basically, that's when they're going to do the whole reset, you know. If money, right now inflation is going up, 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 up. So, the whole point here is for money not to have any value, right? The bill, not the, so that they could, so everything could uh, eventually get to a place where they could introduce the chip. It's like you know what, the whole system is messed up. Let's just start in a whole new system, and in this new system, you need the mark of the beast. You need the chip, and if you don't have a chip, you can't buy or sell. So this is the direction that we're heading. And we're not heading there in 40 years. We're heading there fast. Okay, there's an acceleration to this thing. And like I mentioned, we're in the thick of it already. Okay, so in 25 days, this, this whole thing begins. And uh, I, I personally believe that God's going to raise up Joseph's in this, uh, in this time where we're going to go through a famine. There's, there's not there's gonna be a food shortage and this and that but God's gonna raise up Joseph's uh, if you if you're not aware of Joseph in the Bible he he took he had plentiful he had resources to take care of his people his family right so I believe that God's going to select strategic people uh, that will do likewise for for the people that are gonna be going hungry etc the family of God so I don't think that Christians are really you know it's not that we're gonna we're not gonna feel it it's not that nothing like that but it's not like when it's not gonna be to the degree that it hits other people that you know that other people are dying and stuff like that we're gonna be uh, provided for you know so man it's serious you know, it's we're living in hard times, evil times. Okay, uh, I was talking with my wife this morning about the sexualizing of children in elementary schools and whatnot. And you know, it's all geared towards pedophilia. You know, to to the, the reason behind that. You know, when people say, "Why are they doing that? Why are they doing that?" Everybody's like, "Why?" It's like because they're grooming them. They're putting in the ideas in their mind so that when an old man comes up to them, they, they, they're groomed enough to know to, to know what to do. It's beyond disgusting. But these are the types of people that are in power right now. This is what they stand for. They stand for pedophilia. They stand for violence and chaos and destruction and lawlessness. They stand for basically the Antichrist. I mean, in short, that's what they stand for, in short. 
and, and you know them by their fruit. You know them by the fruit. So it's it's not hearsay. Just look at the fruit. And they're 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 masters. They're really good at deceiving people. They they point and they say, Hey, be careful with that over there. And they're destroying you right before your eyes, but they're like playing these magician games with you with words where people are are just looking over there and looking over there and they're they're, they're installing fear in them be careful with the republicans be careful with this be careful with that oh man if you vote for that person man expect the the, the most radical uh policies and principles and, and changes here you don't want that man and you, you'll get another donald trump in my 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 mindset i'm thinking a good economy you know law and order secure border you know Having food in your fridge, yeah, man, that's that's terrible. You know, that's <laughs> like I can't wrap my head around it. Meanwhile, they're destroying everything, annihilating everything, just corruption all over the place, giving people a pass to steal in stores. They don't get, uh, they they don't they don't get nothing but a little ticket. You can break windows and and harass and do all kinds of stuff, man. Get away with it, okay? No cash bail, etc. And it's like, be careful with the Republicans. No, be careful with you. You freaking, you, you're, you're destroying everything. How how worse can it get? And then they, they come out with uh, new things that, that I'm like, oh yeah, it does get worse, apparently. So like parents can't intervene if their kid wants to cut their wee-wee off when they're like, uh, uh, you know, very young. And that's... And I was just like, what? Scratching my head. And then they were like, oh yeah, also, if they're depressed and they're going through a phase in their life, they get to go to the doctor and, and, and ask the doctor to give them an injection to kill themselves. This, this is going on in Canada. In Canada right now. And why that, that pertains to everybody is because it's a global movement. You have to understand that everybody, they have these meetings all together and they, they, they all the elites all the people that are on top they they all form a plan that they're all in agreement with and they said let's move in this direction except that the direction that they're moving in is to is it's everything that you're watching okay it's the annihilation of the human race okay because they have bunkers they have money they have resources they have food they have uh, fancy cars they have beach houses they have everything they're not worried okay but they look at us like we're peasants, we're stupid, we're taking up space, you know, and they use things like, um, you know, they, they use like cl climate change or this or that as the, you know, let's point at that. Let's use coronavirus as the thing that we point at and then further our agenda. You see how that works? And so I'm just saying that this is all biblical and Jesus is coming back soon but but also like people people need and it's so funny to me that they choose these phrases and these words like get woke be woke I'm like yeah we're woke all right we're woke to the fact that you're, you're, you're the devil's children you know you're the worst of the worst you're a catastrophe a walking storm. Wherever you go, you destroy. Yeah, we're woke to that. Yeah. It is horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. These people are, are the worst. Yeah. God, God, God's going to take care of his people. So, that's about the only positive thing I can say. Everything else is negative. I'm just venting, guys. <laughs>